plot dili na ko mag need need of scale na 1 is to 1 or ko an so in ka preview kay ing ani or sa dirt so sir okay good so i'm just muting myself because there's like a garbage trap outside uh for the purpose of the recording can you show us your uh, sketchup model again uh, and then just do a quick uh, 360 all right so this is just using the rectangle tool push pull and then how did you make the legs uh sa legs sir kay rectangle gapon yeah then arc sa kilid then bevel ah, so basically okay. akong gibuhat ra sir kay ako ra gi retrace ni ang kaning nangita kong sides nga kanang complex kayo like sa kani nga side man ang pinaka complex sa uh, duha and ma da, ma appeal naman ni sila ang duha sa side so akong gibuhat ra is ako ra gi trace ni din hi ako gi fill og kanang face then ako din gi copy paste and rotate then gi bevel din ako through sideways niya din gisunod nako na pag bevel sa length ni sir Okay, good. Uh, we're not going to use the whole five minutes because it's a very simple model, uh, but it's very well explained. Thank you for that, James. So it's good that we finished early. Next, we have um, Dave Mantilla. Okay, good, good. So Dave, uh, there you go. So, this is my concert model, sir. So, basically, I, I just use kanang for the legs, sir. Kay nag follow me command ko ani, sir. Then, mm -hmm. kaning, kaning yang cushion, a cushion niya, sir, sa concert kay nag kona ko, sir. Nag, nag imura ko rectangle, ay eh, nag imura ko rectangle, sir. Then, ako ragi pull me, gi pull, sir. Then, for this kanang shape, sir, kay. Nagpurma ko aning uh, shape sir then gipull ra nako. Then for for the kaning yang santiganan sir kay mura gyud pa nakong gikuan sir nag nag shape ko ani niya then gipull ra nako sir. And for kaning handle sir kay dili ko nalisuran sir but nakaya ra man so nagkuan ko naghimo ko glide perpendicular ani niya sir then nag add ko circle then gi follow me ra sir so na, na okay ra man sad. Ah okay. So um Another thing, sir, kay nag-add ko na eh, kung details, sir, kay I, I try to download an extension, sir, but kanang katong sabdi nga extension, pero mag-listod man ko, kay wala, kan, nung tanang ko YouTube, pero nag-listod man ko, so I just, kanang nag-add ako, kanang shape, sir, kanang quarter circle, sir, then ako nag follow me, sir, so morning detail niya ako na, sir, para dili kay siya, kanang, kanang boring tanawon sir ba mm -hmm. kanang at least na siya curve curve then basically ka na rest sir nice yes I, I also noticed you put the kanang sa na rubber stopper sa ilawon sa legs that's a good detail yes sir all right uh, can we see your autocad speak na okay looks good sir. all right nice Okay, so I think we don't need to go into too much detail unless you have like any other kind of uh, things to mention. Okay, you already closed it. Okay, good. Nice. Uh, okay. Let's see. Mantilla. Next is Romeo. Alyssa. Yes, there are eight long six. All right. Do -do -do. So I'd rather we finish early than late. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I can see your screen. So, money siya ang ako model, sir. Niya. The way na ko siya gihimo kay kanang naghimo ko og arc nga ang iyang kanang ang arc kay mga 4 centimeters ang iyang pagka curve then connected ang kaning sa back sa chair until sa kaniyang legs uh -huh. ang ang arc kay sumpay siya sa back sa chair og sa legs sir ba yes then ko an kanang lahi sa ang sa front nga legs kay straight ra dayon ang cushion kay kay use ra ko og follow me nga tool mm -hmm. Or must smoothen ang edges, yes. 
niya Mara to sir. Kanya ang other side sa leg kay ako rang gi-copy ang ako rang gi-explode niya akong gi-copy rang kaning leg nga gi-art niya akong gi-paste sa pikas. Okay, good. So um pila ka objects tanan si mong chair? Ko answer objects nga same sir or kanang kanang ma-select lang nimo. So i i grab daw na imong uh, selection tool kana arrow. Uh, I just want to see how many pieces of the model is there. So I'm guessing. Ay, ako, we, we group na siya, sir. Ah, okay, right. Double click lang. Okay, so that's the back is one piece and the four legs and the cushion. So one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Ah, yes, sir. Less? Okay. So, okay, can we take a look at your uh, CAD file? Okay, good. Yeah, so, so layout, sir, kay. Okay, sige. Nice. Thank you for that, Alyssa. Thank you, sir. Going. Bro, we need actually less time, so that's good. We minimize this. Let's see here. We Do we have uh, Froilan ready, April? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Uh, please share your screen. Okay, sir. So those after Halarsis will be Kent Landa, Francis Villio, Jean Rosal and Vincent Adlaon, and then finally Ryan Yepes. Please get ready, lang put. Okay, I see your screen. Let's see. So similar to the previous chair, uh, how did you make your model? Uh, first, sir, kay nag nag ako ng import ng ako ang CAD, sir. Then second, kay ako ng gi murag gi fa, gi sani? Kaning push or pull nga koan gani sir? Sa command yes. and yeah, tool. Then akong gi yeah, akong gi pataas to one meter. I'm mm -hmm. yeah, one meter. <laughs> then koan sad sir, gilahi na ko og koan. Sana gilahi na ko og make the eye ang back ay kaning nga uh, part kay kailangan man siya curve then and gilahi sa din ako og make ang kaning sandiganan sir og ang kaning kaning TL mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh, nagamit kag push pull uh, did you use any follow me ah yes sir nag use ko follow me kanin during a fan ah, and, and also here sa ibabaw okay good can we see your uh, cad file okay sir <laughs> here sir okay looks good looks good okay thank you for that froilan okay sir thank you all right. Uh, next, we have uh, Aaron Halarsis. Uh, sir, can I skip for uh, um, cards or um, load? <laughs> okay, that's fine. It's a good thing we're going early, so we have some extra time. Uh, is Kent Landa ready? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Uh, share lang your screen. Okay, it's loading. Okay, I can see your screen. Can you uh, start off with the SketchUp file and tell us how you made your SketchUp file? Like what kinds of uh, tools did you use? Anything? Uh, oh, Nawa Imong screen, Ken. Nawa us again. Let's see. And the one gets again. No. Okay, we'll just message Kent to come back later. So it's a good thing that we're a bit early. And see here. After Kent, do we have Francis Villio? Yes, sir. Wait, sir. Okay. 
Uh, sige, Aaron, you'll go after uh, Francis. You ready lang tanan ni mong sketch up and uh, AutoCAD. So hopefully Kent comes back. I think the brand Haltan or something. So please prepare uh, Aaron Halarsis. Um, Jean so, Wilson. Na kung screen, so. uh, I'll check. Okay, I see it. Let me just read the names so everyone will know. Uh, Jean Rosal, Vincent Adlaon, and Ryan Yepes. Sir, log do si Aaron, sir. Ah, okay. Just tell him na kuan lang. Uh, when he's not lagging, uh, get ready na. <laughs> update na siya. So we can mix around the kuan man. This is more like a guide. Uh, so in case na technical difficulties will be fine. Okay, na okay. I see your screen, Francis. Please tell us about um, your model and then how you made it. Um, I started with the seat of my chair, sir, using the rectangle tool and the arc tool for the cushion of the seat. Then next, I I did the legs at chair, sir. Since akong chair, sir, kay angled iyang legs, ako siyang Ako rang i-eyeball ang angle, sir, kay it's not stated sa dimension, sir. Ang stated lang kay kanyang 47, 63, and 101, and only one view laman akong picture, sir. So, I just eyeballed the angle para mahimo siya 63. Yep, very good. Tua ka ang distance between the two legs. Then, for the back side, sir, hindi ko marag narisdan ang gamay, sir, kay I still... Don't know. Katong nag-start ka ni Sir Kay, wak ako kayo bawa itong follow me tool. Mm -hmm. Then, ako nung giyos ang follow me tool for the corners na rounded sa akong backside. So then, the rest kay same thing lang aning cushion na arc tool and rectangle tool, tool na gi combine lang na ako. Betal, because the back is a very unique shape. Can you zoom in there some rag top parts sa back seat? Now that's a very interesting shape there because it's not symmetrical. The bottom is flat, but the top side has like a curve on it. And then the object itself is not a rectangle, but it's like an arc. Yes, sir. Mm. So very good. Uh, I'll just like mute Miguel here very quickly. Um, sa AutoCAD, sir? Or ah, yeah, sa AutoCAD. Can you take us to your AutoCAD? Okay, very good. I see yeah. that you have the broken lines. Uh, I think it's loading. Okay, good. Nice, nice. Very well done. Okay, thank you, Francis. Just write down your grade here next. Um, let's see, is Aaron okay now? Or is it still lagging? Okay, na, sir. Ah, see, go ahead. Uh, si Kent, ni freeze yung screen. <laughs> na remove ko sa bit. Okay, Kent, um, get ready lang. If you're if you're okay, na you go after Juan Aaron. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Sige. Okay, ta, sir. Yes, I can see your screen. So, ang ako chair, sir, kay Queen B chair. So, it was one of the easier ones, sir. So, ah, wait, wait. You're stuck on the kaning uh, Chrome browser. Wala na. Ay, wala I'm sorry. Na. <laughs> okay, na. Wait, lang, sir. No problem. Say your, your entire screen. Yes, your na, entire na, screen. Nice. Na. Na, na, nice. Okay, I can see it. So, okay. akong uh, chair, sir, kay Queen B chair, it is one of the easier ones, sir. Kay it is basically made of rectangles, sir, and gamay nga art. So, Para sa sketch up kay nagsugod ko sa side view kay mas easier tapos ako or rotate then nag form og arc sa backrest then gi consider ko ang slanting position sa backrest then ang nagkalisod na yes. sir ning corners there sir okay nag nag tutorial pa ko sa follow up para mag curve gamay but ano lang sir dog easy ra man siya sir kay mo sir tanggal sa sa mga commands is follow me bevel tapos rotate mga move command mm -hmm. which one was sir. the most annoying part to model. Can I judge? Can I string a part? Ah. <laughs> can I corner? Okay, nakalisod. Pero, okay. can I raman, sir? Yes. Yeah. Anytime there's a curve in any kind of 3D model, it's going to cause a lot of problems. Okay, yes, can I see your AutoCAD? Please, sir, wait lang. 
Okay, sir. All right, looks good. Yeah, broken lines here. Um, I might suggest na ang, ang orthographic view, you could like increase the scale a bit because it, lo it looks a bit too small. Okay, so you sure. can like edit that before 4.30. Remember guys, the deadline for the submission is 4.30. So you can like edit it a bit sige, sige. Um, until 4.30. Okay. okay, aside from that, that looks good. Uh, thank, thank you, sir. Aaron. And then uh, Kent, are you ready, Kent? Yes, sir, I'll type presenting. Thank you, share screen. I don't need to talk as much today. <laughs> okay, I see the screen. Can you show your uh, SketchUp? Makita na ang SketchUp, sir. Uh, wala pa. I'm stuck on this site. Google Meet na screen. Oh, no. Ni click at ka ng, uh, display all. Yes, sir. Huh. Really? I'll try minimizing the Google Meet screen. Ano ko sa SketchUp na tab, sir? I think the load pag ihapon yata, sir. Ah, okay. Uh, in that case, um, could you send? Okay, there. It changed. Eh, lagging yun yasha. Uh, I send na lang ang uh, SketchUp file sa koa. Send me the SketchUp and the DW file to the to my email. R A Trani at uh, USC at Edu that PH. So I send na sa koa email and then we'll look at it later. Okay, mura glag yun siya. Isya ka display yung tarong. Okay, sir. Sige, I'll call you back later, Ken. Um, after this, so Amanatani Francis. Next, we have uh, Jean Rosal. Yes, sir. Wait. All right, uh, please share your screen. Also, to those who might um, who are worried that I'm glad you have a computer like Kent, you can just send me the uh, SketchUp and the CAD file beforehand. So para I'll share it on my end. Okay, I can see your screen. Yes. So, so that was your model ang pangan kay mild plastic. So ang first na kong gibuhat kay gahimo uh, gamit lang ko og rectangle rectangle nga tool para sa ako ang kaning seat. Unya kay ang ang akong model kay naa man siya pa cur curve gani kaning murag pa ubos nga murag curve moto kay yes. ako siyang gigamitan og gi offset na ko siya dayon gi move na ko pataas kay para makagamit ko ato ang katong smooth nga tool onya kay di man sag ka lang di ko kay ba mo gamit sa kato ganing draw nga katong basta katong sa sandbox kaning from scratch kay dili ko kay ba mo oh. draw onya mo to kay ga download na lang ko extension nya kaning skin kay para dali ra kay di man sag ko kay ba ato mano mano sir ma so, ma <laughs> mayo po jay wow, bago ni gamit og extension sa so, masayon siya sa kaning extension um, pangan sa extension Soap, sir. So, ah, uh, soap, but the, uh, uh, soap, lagi soap. Ah, uh, soap. Basta Sabun. Sa so, uh, <laughs> so, moto, paggamit na ko, uh, akong gigamitan og soap, ay kaning skin pa sa soap, kay para na ako yung grid lines, niya pag human, kay gigamitan na na ako og smooth. So, more, more na siya. So, ang sulod na kong gibuhat, kay ang kaning, ang kaning iyahang legs. So, ang kaning legs, kay sayon lang, kay palomi, rasiya. Mm. Mm, palumira kong gigamit sa iyahang sa 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 legs niya. Onya ang sunod nga kanang mura galibog ko kay ang kaning sa iyang backrest kay pa curve man siya sumuto gagamit ko og arc tool dire da pita pod para na siya na ay kanang awa na curve gamay dire kay mo man sa akong model nya uh -huh. para ma para ma same ang material sa ako ang model og sa ako ang gihimo sa sketch up kay nagkoan lang ko katong daad ko og material nga okay. search lang ko sa internet sa so, moto kay lain man kayo lahi siya so more siya nga ratan ratan kay ratan ratan man tong material sa ako so, mara sa ah okay very good could you zoom in sa curve sa backrest Sir, gamay lang kayo to sir murag 0.01 akong gibutang away ah. <laughs> lang kita ba kuan ni gyud it's very kadang subtle Gap. curve oh dara sir dara 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 ah kana mm. yes okay na i can see it. 
Okay, very good. Can I quickly take a look at your AutoCAD? Far lang we can see if there's any improvements that can be made. Okay, oh, sorry, sorry. Escape. So, the last, sir. So, gamay pa ako ang kuwan. Ako pa na ipadako na kong scale. So, pareha rin yeah. ako kang, kang James Tama nga na ay template daan. Ah, okay. Very good. So, Sige. Looks good. Sige, so, eh, submit lang at 4.30. So all I need sa final will be kanang the image lang, the PDF or image file nimo. I don't need to kuan, uh, get the SketchUp or the CAD. Because that's what this you, meeting is for. All right, very good. Thank you. So Thank after you, Jean, we have um, Vincent Adlaon. And then prepare lang po, Ryan Yepes, uh, Tiara Gonzalez, uh, Nika Despi, and Jeremy Castillo. And then I also uh, put in time for Kent. Let me check my inbox. Okay, I have. Okay, wala pa naabot. I'll refresh. Let's see. Okay, I'll just wait for Kent's inbox. Okay, so now we have. Let me just write this down. Uh, Adlaon. Here, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, let me just write this down. I'm not looking at the screen yet. Okay, can you share your screen and start off with your SketchUp and then tell us how you made your SketchUp and then like any interesting things you learn or like challenges while modeling your uh, uh, chair. I don't know the screen, sir. Yep, I can see it. Okay, so where do I begin? So this was probably really challenging for me, sir. Okay. One more quick prior experience for this, sir. Um, the, I, the way I started this, I started with the legs. Like I, I could have just simply uh, mirrored it, man, for the other side. And the way I did the the legs, guy, I just followed what I put in AutoCAD. Guy, I made sure in AutoCAD, guy, precise gear akom shape, man. So mm -hmm. in AutoCAD, so I I could just uh, push pull the entire object. So. I included the bars here, man. So I just push pulled this side and then I just mirrored it towards the other side. The other part that I also uh, mainly uh, use the push pull function, kay katong cushion. So what I did before, I made a square uh, or a rectangle, if you would like prefer that term, man said. Mm -hmm. And when I was doing it, man said, I realized that I could have also just done the push pull me on the top view and then I was able to push pull this curve so I didn't really have to use any special tools for the curves but it was when doing the upper curve that I had to follow some YouTube videos for that sir ah. so I used uh, follow me for this and I did it uh, yeah I used follow me for this part sir and uh, I also more push pull for the back frame sir and same thing for this said for the backseat cushion. And then the one kai mostly sued, so like I was losing my mind over this jid sir kai can can curve did it. So ah, you yes. can see the Soren uh, the Soren chair kai more really uh, exact ba. So I was having problem like estimating on say length kailangan y extend ang bar did it so Leo. Mm -hmm. So when I was, I just made this and angled it uh, correctly, and then I just used the the two point arc tool. So I mm -hmm. aimed from the bottom face, connected it here, and then I just used follow me for that part. I mean, not perfect, I sir, but oh, oh no, that's fine. I can barely <laughs> notice that it's like until you pointed it out, I thought it was kanang very well done. But then you zoom in and you see there's like a bit of an angle. Uh, there. Honest, monko, sir. I won't. I won't lie to you. Sir. <laughs> Anna, lanko. Anna, lanko. Honest, okay. I'll, I'll teach you my struggles, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hopefully uh, everyone else will also learn your struggles. So at this point, it looks very good. Like, I really can't tell. So, yep, good job. Can it uh, take a quick look at your AutoCAD file? Okay, sir. Okay, let's see. Looks good. Labels are here. Dimensions are there. I would just like to kind of give some space to put in, or you could maybe just put it on the side, top view, front view, and side view. Ah, okay, like, sir. In the upper left, uh, lower left, and then the lower right on the uh, orthographic drawings. Okay. 
Okay. So you're good. Thank you for that. Next, um, I think nag sent pag email si Kent. Uh, we have Ryan. Is Ryan here? Yes, sir. Wait, sir. All right, go ahead. So tell us about your uh, SketchUp and then we'll take a look at your AutoCAD. Number no, sir. Yes, I present my chat. Okay. Okay. So actually, sir, I, I really had hard hard time making the clover part. But yes. so, <laughs> <ako, laughs> yeah, we could take you can shape. Uh, uh, yes, sir. So I thought that was YouTube. Dyan. Nakakita ko na itong Enerroth, Amurag extension, Enerroth face to to yan something. And then, pag install, dili ko ka-install since I'm using a crack version lang sa kanang, kanang sketch up. Mm -hmm. So, I did kanang manual dyan ang pag, pag mix sa face sa taga Clover. So, as you can see na dyan yung mga like empty spaces yung ana. So, karagaya na kayo na kung ay okay na siguro ni. So, I think the easiest parts, wait, the, the easiest parts are kay um, pag make sa kaning kaning a caution since I use mm -hmm. smooth kaning smooth tool lang and then katong rectangle and then for the legs kanisha um nag nag draw ra ko og like katong kaning rectangle then ako rang muragi um gikuha anang edge so like mura siya ganig porma mm -hmm. and then sa kaning sa back portion um ako ni siya gamitan og smooth tool pero pag try nako sa smooth tool sa kaning clover circle dili siya mo gana since ako na mong remove ang kaning empty spaces in between so yeah. sigira siya kanang ig smooth na ho kay mag mulagra siya nya dili siya mo kanang mo mo close siya nya mo tong ako na ako ni buhat ako na lang siyang gi um gi attach sa upper side og sa bottom ah oh, no that's fine um it's really a difficult and shape. then yeah that's hmm. that's it Hmm. Good job, like getting it cl as close <laughs> as you did, because like I don't even know how to, even me myself, I don't <laughs> know how I would have tackled this. <laughs> Very complex shape. <laughs> Good job. Okay, can we Thank see you, your uh, AutoCAD? Uh, okay, sir. Here's my AutoCAD, and here's wait. Oops. Yeah, ang layouts really there. Okay. Wait. Uh, All right. Okay, I can see it. Okay, it looks good. Okay, the labels are complete. Ah, uh, just like a minor note. Have any descriptions? Ah, oh, wait. A, a print preview now, so I can see like what it will look like. So final submission, Jude. Another, sir. Okay, there it goes. Ah, it looks fine today. Okay, this looks good. Uh, no notes, no changes needed. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good job. Next, we have um, the, uh, Gonzalez. Sir. All right. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Um, please share your SketchUp file. Ah, I, na, bago na abot mo SketchUp file, Kent. I'm downloading it now. Sige, sir. Thank you, sir. Sige, so you go after this, after uh, Tiara. All right. Ah, you got the okay. that chair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, ako, uh, sir, kay Lemon Button Stool. So, ang una na ko gibuhat kay kana gi trace na ko ang legs gay una sir like usa lang ka side simple lo question sir for that oh na sure sir so ko so after akong gibuhat kay ga follow me tool din ko nya yeah. after kay ako din gi mirror while copy ang other side so muna nang legs sir nya yeah. ang next kay kang ang um, seat like gibot nya na ko holes pod nya gi bring up bro Marcia, sir. <laughs> okay, very good. So, money, uh, money, ka nang nindot kay choice, but kay everyone else was looking for rectangular chairs, but you found the lemon button first. <laughs> I also like that you added the extra uh, decorations around it. Pwede kay siya empty tanawan. 
So this look, the model looks mm -hmm. great. Uh, does it no problem there because it's a simple uh, chair shape? Can we check out your AutoCAD? I'm excited to see what it'll look like. Ah, there, it looks very nice. Uh, the drawing looks very nice. The dimensioning could be improved. Um, you could change the settings, uh, dimension style, because I think the arrows are, are a bit too big and the text is like too small. Ang, ang size betaus at numbers itself, numbers themselves, they look a bit too small. So just edit it a bit. So like uh, I would reduce the arrows to like maybe kanang one third of this size now. So maybe kanang I reduce it by, I don't know, like uh, half siguro or like 70% and then increase the font size. Uh, I think right now it's around uh, maybe double the font size because it looks a bit small. Okay, sir. Okay, Marina. So just submit that with uh, those changes on 430 and you should be kanang another 1.0 again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, sige. Next, we have, uh, let's see. Oh, it's Kent. I'm going to share my screen para maka describe si Kent. So, Kent, are you still there? Yes, sir. All right. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. Minimize here. Hide. Uh, downloads. Okay. Okay, so Kent really, uh, this is why I was lagging because it's a full model. <laughs> It's a full scene. So you have a wall, floors, a uh, puppy, and a carpet. So tell me about your... Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to turn on... Uh, where is it? View. I'm going to turn on the edges so you can see how complex the shape is. So this is not a normal like polygon. So how did you do this? Um, actually, sir, the first thing I bought kay kanang rectangle rato ay cube then ang akong gi scale din gi erase na ko ang kanang front side para ang back lang mabilin then ang pag scale side sir para mas lang ang likod then kanang gi pull me na ko tong nabilin nga side kanang sa back o kanang sa bottom then i use a, an extension sir called subd gani sir para mag imitate ang kanang murag foam mm so yeah, then automatic na siya ma add ng mga other lines sir mo nang may ana siya purma Yes. So, kung makita ni mong edges, kay usually AutoCAD breaks at AutoCAD SketchUp breaks it down into like uh, planes. This one is a very kind of curved object, so it's not a normal plane anymore. So, this is very interesting. Grabe good among extensions. And the legs, how did you do the legs? Ang legs sir, kay sa lahat na siya nga files yun ako gibuhat sir, gin-import na ako dira kay kay basig ka ng mamali gani na ako niya, din ako ma-save. So, Ang um, gibat na ako kay Cubra sa sir, then kanang gi trace ay gi form na ako ang kanang corner gani sa legs, then nag follow me ko sa iba ba, then gi sa po na po mga sides nga way labot, then nag follow me na para mo, murag katong matsub siya sir, para mo nakaanggil na siya siya daan. Okay, good, very good. And then uh, since you sent me your JPEG file here, I'll open it. So this one looks very good. Medyo huot siya dire sa text. Maybe reduce lang ang size si mong text, like uh, by one point or two points. Para di kaya siya murag na more siya suffocate without the in a corner. Para nala siya gamay breathing room. Sige, uh, aside sir. from that, what naman si Gerline ma change now? So this looks very good. Oh, um, try changing the University of San Carlos logo from color uh, black to like a non index color. Remember those non index colors? They'll show up as their actual color when you do the uh, printing yes sir Let's okay that's pretty much it so thank you kent good job All right close close you're behind above and beyond okay, huh? <laughs> let's see i'll stop sharing next we have uh uh nika let's be uh present okay go ahead Do, 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 do. Nakita na, sir. Oh, kita na. Uh, so, mani ako, sir. Big D folding stool. So, hmm. una kay, wala pa ko naghimo sa kanang lingkoranan. Ako lang ginimo kay ang TL kay for me it was a bit challenging. So, hmm. walang kakataon yung naghimo niya. Ang una nang ginimo kay usara ka leg o niya copy and flip na lang sa uban. 
and ana na sir nya sunod kay kanang yang mga rubber stopper so yang rubber stopper kay na gimo ra ko glain on nya ako orang gi intersect sa faces so para ma fit siya sir ah okay zoom in daw it's a very interesting shape i am kanang bottom of the legs pero ang ang sir uh, wala lang na 100 ang um, ah okay ra okay ra as long as you kana bitong uh uh sa tao kani have a close approximation sa sa actual na chair so i like how it's kanang you can tell that there's a rubber stopper there di para sa kanang i'll only mark it down if it's simang you guy can you can tell what it's supposed to be so that's good okay so okay. you use follow me yes sir i use follow me that legs ah uh, okay and then flip flip okay good now let's see your uh cad takad ara sir Mayroon yung card. So for me, a bit challenging ang front view, sir. Kaya wala ko kabalo. Dili kayo ko kay imagine if unsa ang naong sa legs if naka front view. So di offset yeah. lang na ko ang legs niya. Mm. So mga ta siya, sir. Okay, good. Uh, can we see your uh, print layout? Kaya nang uh, print preview, sorry. Mayroon ko din. Kana. Okay, this, um just a very small, kaya nang minute kayo na details ba? Ang orthographic drawings is center lang daw na. Ah, uh, okay, sir. Yeah, just with the center more and ako ma change. Everything else looks fine. Okay, good. And then you also okay. change the color of the University of San Carlos logo. Nice. Good job. Okay, so we're going pretty fast. This is good for like we can finish early. Uh, Jeremy, are you ready? Yes, sir. I am ready. All right. Go ahead. Uh, share your screen and then tell us about your SketchUp uh anything interesting you learned while doing it <laughs> uh, here i go so here's my chair here's my assistant <laughs> <laughs> all right so the procedure of making this logan chair is that i first created this uh seat it has a very particular shape in this curve as reference to this one right here and then I just use a push pull to make the to give the dimension, the height. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, there you go. So you can see see properly. Mm. Then I <clears throat> uh, with the whole seat being push pulled, I created I created an offset for the inside, so that way I can hollow it out and then chop off the sides. Uh, like for example, this one, this curve right here, and then this side right here, you can see there's a gap here, a gap there. Then for the chair, for the legs, I basically I basically just created a circle on the ground first, then measure its height, the leg height. Then after that, I created a quarter, I created this, a uh, quarter circle first mm -hmm. then use a follow use follow me to go around the the circle so that, that way it creates the in a dome mm -hmm. then for this part it uh in particular because i was trying i was trying to figure out how to create this this right mm -hmm. so what i did is i created i created another circle around the around this cylinder then I just push. I just pull it, pull it up until it has uh, it has something similar to what I have in the photo in the picture. Then mm. comparing it to the back side, this one is special because I really pulled it along the backrest, and then once it's ex once the exceeding cylinder is popping out of the backrest, I just I'll, hang on. I'm not sure if it's visible. Yeah, I think I can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Then you I, have to manually I mean, erase. Yeah, I have to in, make an intersect. I have to trace an intersection and then cut it off. Now, mm. the most challenging part I had is this backrest. As you can see, I used a smoothen tool. Now, when mm. I use the smoothen tool, it lags. I don't know why. It just lags. <laughs> there, there are times that lags. There are times that it does not. But there's a rare chance that if I mess up this backrest for some reason there's this one instance where this part of the 
Macarest exploded into a different shape. I don't know why that happens. <laughs> I wish I, I wish I had like a video of that. I, I wish I have taken a screenshot of it, but yeah, that's basically the whole process of making this Logan chair. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Very good. And yeah, that's, yeah sometimes SketchUp just like kind of uh, breaks down <laughs> or goes crazy on you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yes. so here's my AutoCAD. Nice. And here's the Battle block. Okay, looks good. Right. Can we just show the print preview? I know I looked at it before, but for those who are uh, not in this class at the moment, or for future students without. Here's the print preview. All right, looks good. Ah, okay. So in this case, I think the dimension numbers are just a tiny bit too big. Just a very tiny bit too big. So maybe you like reduce it like uh, by like, uh, I can't I can't express it like uh, reduce it by like ten percent. It's like just a little bit smaller. The numbers on the orthographic views. Let me yeah. see. Right now it's at zero point zero four. So maybe like uh, zero point zero three. Zero point zero three. Let's see. I wait. Okay, zero point zero three. Okay. All right. And then click outside. Ah, yeah, that's better. Okay. All anyway. Right. That's all for my presentation. Okay, very good. Thank you for that. Next. Next, we have uh, Monsanto, Gerald. Monsanto, Gerald. And then those yeah, after. Nag gadgets, sir. I see Gerald, sir. And the glag, yeah. Okay, la. Okay, la. Um, so we'll, we have like a bit, we were a bit early, get, so that's good. So um, after Gerald or like whoever's ready, uh, it's Krisha Ruiz and then uh, Mary Rose Zamoras, uh, Natasha Alva, Ryan Kane Cabalquinto, uh, Hannah Abbott and Cyril uh, Bataluna. So those guys are just be ready so that um, we can keep up the space. Okay, so while we're waiting for um, Gerald, where did you present si Ruiz? Where did you sir? Sige, paliho niya. Okay, so start off with your SketchUp. Let us know like uh, any problems that was while you were using your SketchUp. Uh, anything interesting about like uh, the model making process? It's a sir, I present. Ah, sige, sige. And then once you're done with the presenting, you are free to go. Um, just submit lang your final PDF or image file to the Google Classroom, and then you're done for the SEM. Summer day. So I'm very like surprised that everyone um, got up like. I'm surprised you that the mo na on the SketchUp, but it's supposed to be like that. But uh, when I was learning SketchUp during your time, like my time, at least what you go. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, so maon yung model actually um naglisod ko sa kaning po curves curves niya sa side o garing. So ni try ko first use sa katong smooth sir bakay ganan nung ta ko may method jud ang Jupiter katong sa seam lines niya kay mag ni 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 pop ang kanang foam ba pero lisod kay ta kay di siya ma proportional niya bati siya tan on bali dirty so uh, most akong work ani nga model kay nara jud sa AutoCAD kay mas comfortable ko dito tungod kay anang ang dimensions kay accurate siya ba so if unsang curve dere o kani unsa pila ni ang kaandre kay makuha ra jud nako sa AutoCAD then nag push and pull ra ko then for sa legs kay nag follow me tool ra ko sir so ako ra sa drawing daan ang unsay kaning kanang rectangle nga curved ganing edges niya nya gi follow me ra nako nya sa yang angle kay sa AutoCAD ra pud nako gi Yes good Ah nya Sa, nag push and pull day ko sa side view ato sir para ma-follow ang curve niya since dili man makuha sa push and pull ang tapered nga kaninga part so ako ning gi cut dere niya nag push and pull ko sa front view sa ko ang autocad gapon nga gi draw niya ako ra siyang gi 
intersect there, sir. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Looks good. Then you added like the cat there. <laughs> so oh, nice for that. <laughs> okay, good. let's take a look at your AutoCAD uh, print preview. Okay, so zoom in. It looks good, looks good. Uh, again, I think the numbers are a bit too big. Maybe just reduce it. Like um, same, same guy, same one, same type of. Uh, uh, change with Jeremy just to re reduce the text size of the numbers just by a little bit and that should be okay and let's see any other problems anywhere okay sir I call line change before I pass okay good thank you for that yes, sir see uh Gerald is with us yes sir present all right go ahead so start off with your sketch up and then uh, tell us about like what are the most challenging parts uh, of a model and then uh, we'll go into your AutoCAD Okay, your screen is loading. I see your screen. Ah, it's this chair. Madungog ako, sir. Yes, madungog. Okay, sabara ba kayo nako sa outdoor? Okay, nag-data <laughs> okay, okay. nag lang ko, sir. Sige, sige. Okay. So, this is my chair. Mac chair ni siya dan ang pin ang difficult part na ko kay ang kanu dito curve niya nga edge third diri sa sa sandiganan da pizza chair kay dili siya kanang parehas jud sa sa original copy kay ni try ta kog smooth niya kanang dili man sad siya mo pare tungod gani kay connected siya sa arm chair mo to kay dili mm -hmm. siya lisod siya i-connect if mag smooth ko so nice space diri so mo to ni ako na lang siya gi push and pull gi trace na ko ang outline sa arm chair niya kanang gi nagcut nagcut ko dire da pita niya gibot nga nako kanang mag triangle then nagamit ko og kanang follow me nga tool para sa koan para sa para mo soft ang edges sa cha, sa chair hmm. yang kanang armrest yes sir moto sha sir Okay, and then the legs. How did you make the legs? The legs, kay to answer. Nagbuhat tug duha ka, nagbuhat tug duha ka circle with varying diameters. Para ka na kay lahi man ang lahi man ang radius sa babaw o sa obus ng part sa sa chair. Then ako gi ako gi cut ako gi cut niya. Nagform ako ng triangle ng nagconnect sa babaw o obus. Then gi follow me tool na ako sir para mahimo siyang in na, 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 3D ah. siya, sir. Mm -hmm. Very uh, good. I saw that technique sa YouTube. Muto kay Gay. Follow lang na po. Okay, good. Sa YouTube. Sige, so it looks very good. Uh, can you take a look at your Kanang CAD file? Yes. Makita ka, sir? Or good? Uh, I'm still on the SketchUp thing. Oh, wait, sir. Nara, sir. Okay, it's loading. Okay, I can see it. Okay, this looks good. This time, I think the dimension, the numbers, the for the dimensions are a little bit too small. So just increase it, just by a little okay. bit. Now. Maybe okay. I think increase it by kanang. If it's point zero zero one, maybe change it to like point zero zero two or something like that. Okay, sir. Maybe double lang ang size. Everything else looks good. Okay, okay, okay. Sigi. Okay na? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. So next we have uh, Zamoras. Yes, sir. Right All right. So uh, just share your uh, screen and then uh, walk us through your canning, uh, process for making your chair. Uh, I'm writing down your names on paper. Okay, let's see. Okay, I can see it. Nice, na pa ko on side table. So, zero chair, akong chair niya. Akong first gibuhat kay ang kaning seat jud mismo. Akong gibuhat kay ako nag-download ko og extension, Fredo 6 na extension, round corner. Mm -hmm. 
para ma-achieve na ko ang round ay like ang corner na ana after kay ang pag-make sa legs kay um gi follow ra to na ko tong imong YouTube video sir like atong follow me tour niya atong mag arc mm. yeah ang pinaka challenging for me kay ang back ay like kaning backrest part kay wala ko kay bawon sa on siya like din ako ma achieve akong gusto so na first day mm. ko ngay could you show us the image na imong gi reference uh layo ito kay akong i read lang sir oh ana ta ko layo ba jud <laughs> Feeling na ko harsh kay mo sa inyong kuan, sa inyong selves. Pero <laughs> ang Ah, okay, it's kind of like similar to I forgot kinsa to nag what's other na chair. So it's more like a trapezoid shape na nag cave, nag concave in siya. Yeah, that's a difficult shape. But I think it's close enough. Close enough for my standards anyway. Pag-achieve na ko sa kaning more concave kay ako siyang gi-follow me tool. Nya, mo sa to ako siyang gi-scale para mo slant siya gamay. Nya, kanisang sa sides kay gi-follow me ra sa ni kaning something para mo ra jud siyag na ay kuan kanang concave para mo ra ma-achieve ra sa gamay. Mm. Ah, palihog niya ko i-type ang names extension yung gigamit dito sa chat because I'm curious then so they're very interesting na na numbers. Ah, na, na numbers na Logos nila. Pedro corner, round corner. Yes, sir. Ako lang i-type later. Ah, yes. Kaya ma-save man po ang type niya. Ako ma-research po ko. How did you get that that pattern on the chair? Yes, sir. Hmm. Ay, ako lang di intersector. Nag-3D warehouse ko, sir. Ako lang siyang gano'n. Ah, okay. Good. Sige. Looks good. Uh, let's look at your AutoCAD. And uh, print preview sa inyong PDF. Sige. Let's see the font sizes and the arrows are fine for me. And then I and I like that you use like a orange line for your chair. Okay, this looks good. This looks good. Okay, no no need to like uh, change anything. Okay, good. Thank you for that, uh, Mary Rose. Thank you, sir. Congrats on finishing our summer class. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, next we have uh, Natasha Alva. Is Natasha here? Ah, wala si Natasha. Wait, I see her on the list. Oh, wait, she doesn't have a microphone, if I remember correctly. Or, Nawasha. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot. There was like a, some of you who don't have uh, microphones. So if you don't have a microphone, just like uh, show us your screen and like uh, we'll look at the <laughs> the three D model. Oh, neighbors. Hello, uh, Natasha. Are you there? Yes, sir. Wait, lang, sir. Akira. Napatol ako ng sir. Sorry, sir. No problem. Um, so those after Natasha, we have we have Brian K. Uh, Hannah Abot. Oh, yes. Let me check. Yes, makita lah. Um, okay, sir. So, sa pagbuat ng ako sa chair sir, kay ako ng gibuat first is the 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 seat sir. Ako ng gib Ako ra gi uh, using the grid key. Ako siyang gi ako gi use ang push and pull na tool para maka form of thickness sa seat. And then next kay ang sa sa back seat kay I use the smooth tool para ma form ang iyahang arch shape. And then for mm -hmm. the legs sa chair, ako na use kay ang follow me tool or sa nya gi copy paste there na ako nya gi gi adjust ra ang angle para right. Okay, that's good. all. And so, okay. And yes, the color, sir, um, I'm going to use, sir, I'm going to use, sir, I'm going to match the color sa 
sa sketch up ng visit to match sa color so using sa canvas sir kay naman thing na makita ang um, call exact na color code so mo na using the color code kay akong i-search and then ang yung RGB na code mo na akong gibutang sa sketch up para makuha ang exact color sa chair That's ah it, very good sige so uh, can you see your um, auto okay. kita sir uh, i think na stop up ko sa sketch up na window Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, sir. It's okay, no problem. I usually just click the display all part so you can show multiple windows. Can, I, okay. can you show the kind of print preview? Okay, Uh, Akatong print preview niya, uh, Natasha. Ay, is sir, wait lang. Okay, sorry, ga load pa rin. <laughs> Log loading siya, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, this looks good. I appreciate that you put in like a bottom view put at bang si mong top view. Ayos, uh, okay. Guide siya, nag-reset mong kung... Ay, kanang butang sa legs without it, sir. Muna nagbutang ko. Ah, yes, yes. Okay, very good. So, akong masuggest lang is like, um, ang chair, ang image sa chair, pwede siya enlarge, na i-center ni mo ang chair. Ah, sige, sir. Nya, ang demand, zoom in daw gamay sa orthographic views. Yes. So, ang dimension is a bit, ang numbers, a bit too small. Try okay, to get sir. it kanang similar na font size sa imuhang text kanang notes ni mo sa left side. More or less, not as big for dual dual ana ba, but it will be easier to read. Okay, sige, sir. Okay, that's all. Thank you for that. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you, sir. Okay, next we have, uh, after Natasha, is uh, Ryan Kane. Kabal Kinto. Is Ryan with us? Let me check. I see him sa chat. Uh, people. Ah, <laughs> sige, sige. Okay na. So, um, just share your uh, AutoCAD. Uh, no, no. Sketch up and then we'll look at your AutoCAD. So after Ryan oh. Kane is Hannah, so get ready lang Hannah. I feel you next, sir. Okay, delete siya mo share screen ng entire window na wala. <laughs> okay na. Sige. After lang, thank you, sir. Sige, set up lang. Yeah, um, Hannah is Hannah here? Yes, sir. Wait lang, sir. Sige. And then for those after ni Hana og ni uh, Ryan Kane is a uh, Cyril Bataluna just set up lang pod. Sir, makita lang akong screen. Ah, uh, kita lah. Okay, Very good. We're like 20 minutes ahead of schedule. Ah, this chair. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. This looks good. This is a good attempt. Um, even me, I think it's a bit difficult to do the backrest part, but it's really close to the koan, to the source. Actually, sir, at first, like when I chose my chair, I thought na easy lang because it's like square, square, lang iyang seat. But then, like I noticed the backrest, kaya katong angle, but iyang rag hands. Mm. Yeah. So when I made this chair, sir, I started with the seat. Because it's pretty easy, ano lang, nag-use lang ko rectangle tool and then push pull tool para maka-create ko ano, depth niya. And then for the curves, I used an extension, sir. It's called the round corner. Yes, go ahead. Since I don't need to make the curves, 
na using the curve tool. Okay, ako lang siya i-click ang sides, then like there's a check mark na appear somewhere here, and then automatically na mag curve na iya ang edges. Hmm, paliwag niya kong type in later sa names extension. Ah, okay, sir, okay. Mm. And then as for the legs, I use the follow me to sir, just like what you did sa imuhang videos. Then, ah, okay. Like na tapered off na mag sila kong share. And uh, for this one, sir, like, like I asked you na mag mga tips, like how to do it, then I kind of forgot, sir, how to do it, so... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So uh, tell us how you got that shape. This one, sir. So like, I made uh like square gihapon siya, sir. Like square. Then nagdraw ko og kanang curves. Ako nigi draw ang curves sa uh, within the square. Then ako rin siyang cut out. Then ako nigi use to push and nigi use to push and pull tool para sa ano kini siya para ma ma adan og ano that's um, ano, sir, ang backrest and the same thing with the hands or kining iyahang where ang kamot-kamot kay ako lang siyang isumpay gihapon and then nag-use gihapon ko ground corner para maka-create o curve but I don't think nakalata siya okay yeah. good thank you for that so can we uh, see your AutoCAD AutoCAD okay. so dito lang sa print preview No problem, sorry. <laughs> yeah, this one. So, here. Okay, that looks good. Um, so, when you submit this, you crop out lang ning rug extra na white space around it. Yeah, I, don't, I, I still okay. don't know. I haven't figured out how to change the setting for the borders. Okay, sir. Like, right, can you red, sir? Can I? Adele, can I zoom out with you? So, it yeah. looks like naka frame siya. Um, yeah, out, kind of outside borders, yeah, but we're like, we're like, we're now, so you just crop that out. So it looks more like gigamit with the Mungti book page. Oh, okay, sir. Mm. So that looks pretty good. Uh, the, the font sizes are good. So usually, um, just like uh, for everyone else, so if your text size is like one, it's, it's like one point something na text height. Dapat imong dimension size also sort of similar as what simong text size para mm -hmm. more uniform without an end. So like uh, gibuat ni Hana here. So thank you Hana, very good. Thank you, sir. All right. So next um on sa to si Ryan K na okay na kadya Ryan. Na was si Ryan? Let me check. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, there, Tora. Okay, I can see your screen. Uh, let's start off with the sketch up. Ah, okay, it's this chair. <laughs> um, oh, wait, how about the other? Yeah, I can see your I can see oh. your screen, no problem. So uh my about the other? Yeah, yeah, makita ra. Uh, so, I can also uh, hear you, yeah. Uh, so, ang ako chair kay, rain chair. Um, ako first, gibuhat kay, katong same sa yung video, sir, na magamit ang grids sa kaning top nga part. Mm -hmm. Then, nitrysod ko ato sa kaning lower nga part, but maglisod mo kong bend sa end up it, sir. So, nag lang ko og follow me. Mm -hmm. Tool then sa legs kay, Ako rin sang kitong gikan sa sa AutoCAD sir kaya akong gi 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 rotate then gi follow me uh, rotate then gi mirror na ako sir then follow hmm. me rin siya ako rin gi follow me sir hmm. well, Can sir. you show me the kanang reference image para si mong chair? Okay, okay sir um. <laughs> Wala ba? Oh, dara sir Tara, tara, tara. niload na Ah, okay. So it looks like that the legs are a little bit wide and long. So, but um, a quick fix so you don't have to model it again is just use the scale tool. Oh, okay, sir. Is is scale lang siya na medyo i, i close more siya ka nang ga say my word na more siya ka ga man spread bitaw. 
<laughs> I'm gonna accept chair. So just use the the scale tool to sort of like tighten that kind of V shapes yang legs without and you can spread out the kayos yung model so you're more like scale down para mo lang close yung gamay yung legs. Okay, sir. That's one issue sa model. Let's check your AutoCAD. Kanan PDF na. Ay. Ah yes. Okay, this this is good. This is good. Let's see here. The font sizes look okay. The 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 the, the numbers uh, orthographic views are a little bit smaller, so I'll try to like, increase it a bit. Parang mo match sa text, other text in the drawing. Uh, okay, top view, top view can also be increased a bit, and the orthographic drawing title should be increased a bit. Plus, na makai space, so shouldn't be a problem. Yes, sir. Okay. Sige. Thank you for that, Ryan Kane. Thank you, sir. And like one hour up in to make some okay. small changes. All right. Okay, next we have uh, Bataluna, Cyril. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes, Madonga na ka, Cyril, yes. Kisa ning screen? I want it, Cyril. Okay, ah, okay. Na, gidownload yung tibok balay. <laughs> <laughs> Di, sir, kay, murag, simple kay ang chair niya. Aluwi kay tanawin. So, kanin ko, <laughs> sir, ang akong first na gihimo kay ang kanin sa yung backrest na part niya. Abot, wow, kay bang anong wala ni pili ani kay murag, simple naman ang chair niya. Moto kay ka nang Ano siya tawag ane? Alimot ko saan yun. Ay, money, aning likod akong una gihi mo sir da yun ang ari sa ari na part kay slanting man yun ni siya pero ang sa original kay curve man so moto parang gigamit kay nag-draw og art tapos gi katong push or pull tool para mawala to ang excess then same ari sa pikas na part. Then ang measurements ane kay kanang gitrace raman to na ko ang akong drawing sa auto cad kay para um exact yun iyang measurement sa kaning arcs ug sa kaning mga small dimensions tapos mm -hmm. uh, kaning ang arin tato sa kaning seat na part kay dili ko kay ba to katong mura may chag nay cushion tapos murag mo lapas gamay ang cushion niya na murag dili jud kapila na nagbalik-balik og tricer niya dili jud ko ka sunod ato na murag realistic <laughs> kay sa tan-an mo to kay Ang ang gibot ka dere kay Morag Yapon to rectangle tapos art niya katong gi erase ang excess na stuff then ambot sa yun naman ang uban na parts kay Arisa tapos Arisa legs kay ang kaning sa atubangan na part kay straight rajud siya sa rectangle rasad tapos push or pull na tool then ang likod na legs kay muni siya ang Morag naka-angle like pas lad siya gamay niya mato gi measure na ako from dere to gi measure na ako gikan sa kilid padong sa asa siya mas land then same sa pikas kay para symmetrical rasya yeah more na sir katura jud akong problema kay ang katong seats unta para maragnay siya tanaw niya yes okay so i have your reference picture here yes it's very tricky but um i think for the purposes of this class okay lang ni gini siya okay it's only like one month and we don't have enough time so it's good na it looks like this can we take a look at your uh, AutoCAD? Oh, tara, sir. Niya. Then, nagkuan na lang ko daan sa PDF kay Basin mo lag niya. Ika-preview na kay lag. Kay oh, mo good. Sige. Tara ang... Okay. Looks text size. Looks good. Ah, usually, kaning, kung yung anana ay mong pag-label, uh, kanang centered bitaw, uh, I would prefer na ang label nasa bottom side. So is you move lang na emong orthographic drawings na text and move it to the bottom and then you move up ni mo emong chair na drawing. Okay, sir. And then ang kaning logo sa San Carlos, you change lang po yung color para mo blend in siya sa white. Okay, sir. Okay, everything else looks fine. Ah, just another very minor thing. I itupong lang emong text sa kanang image ni mo na as yeah. Okay, sir. It's just, it's just these little things. Mumay amo itan awan goods architecture. Okay, sir. Sige, thank you for that. Good job. Next, we have Fernandez. 
Ms. Fernandez here. Lord Paul. Do, 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 do. Let me check. Lord Paul, that reminds me of the Dune movie. Main character is also named Paul. Let's see. Alam mo wala man. Fernandez, Fernandez. Wala, wala siya. So please, uh, if you're friends with uh, Fernandez, Lord Paul, uh, let him know Now we need to do this. <laughs> uh, it's 10%. Might not be kanang the biggest problem, but sayang bito. Uh, next, we have uh, Conde, Maria, Yvette. Um, sir, excuse me, sir. Nag message si Yvette na ko, sir, na yung laptop kay nag shutdown ka ron na. Dari na ma-open. Ah. So, ano? Siya, if pwede ba daw, lain na day siya mo-present. Pero ay, ako lang ipamessage niyo, sir. Ah, sige. Pwede siya mo-join sa Saturday class. Ma okay, sir. Thank you. Sige. All right. And let me see here. So, wala si Conde. Uh, next, we have uh, Paran Theris. Hi, sir. All right. Uh, if you're ready, please share your screen. After Paran yes. is uh, Branzuela. Uh, after Branzella will be Kabatingan. Hi, sir. And then finally, see si Emia. Emia, John. Um, ma ra kong, ay, ma kita ra kong screen, sir. Ah, uh, yes, I can see it. Ah, it's this chair. Okay. Uh, first ako ang gibuhat, sir, kay ang um, foundation sa chair. Kaning legs. Mm. And ang gigamit na ko ang rectangle and then follow me para sa likod. Ang dari akay kanang akong gimove tong line. Nag-create ko og straight line then gimove na ko para mas land. Mm. And then ang nakalisod ani sir kay ang curve dere sa backrest. Yes. Especially with those multiple shapes. And then, ang kong gibuhat ani sir kay kanang gi arc na ko siya sa front and sa back. Gimuan na ko siya arc and then gi pull up. Nya ang sa front ng arc kay gi kuhaan na ko tong katong front and then agato na lang back ng arc ang nahibilin and nya kanang ang top kay naman siya holes ni ako rang gi gi draw og merg triangle kay triangle mm -hmm. man ang ma hibilin and then ang dresser kay arc ra gi hapon and then ako rang gi cut dere nya gi draw ang mga na nahimo man siya ang kuan dresser kanang na hole ni ako ra siyang mm -hmm. gi gi draw ang mga small triangles para para ma fill in ang hole sir. Hmm. Ay, mm. may erase na triangle. <laughs> okay, na good. Sige. Uh, looks good. Uh, let's uh, go to your AutoCAD. Here, sir. Ah, okay. Good, good. Let's see your font sizes, text. Um, I think if mada i align ni mo ang kaning notes there is a side to your like image either ipadako ni mong image or pa i gamay ni mo ang text para matupong bitaw sila okay sir and then everything else looks fine okay good sige thank you for that uh, Therese. let's see here uh Branzuela. Hello, Alfonso, are you there? Yes, sir. All right, sige. Present lang. Makita ra, sir. Yes, tara, galod na. So, Ingna, tell us about your process na pag-make ni mo sa imong chair. So, ako ang chair, uh, my chair was the Nielsen chair. So, mm -hmm. the first thing that I did was the back part kay tricky ka ayo siya tungod sa iyang um, curve lines onya ang inikon mo dili man siya pwede push and pull so what i did is i traced every line like 
mga small lines, small lines, and then did the finishing na ante then ako din siyang gi, di, gi connect sa I connected them sa mm-hmm. sa in sa yahang sa yahang feet sa four ka feet and then at this part kay naman tayo murag circular ang sa picture wait sa tung picture naman siya ka ng circular oh, sa na siya ka may na detail yeah yeah so what I did is I made um I nagcut ko dere o gikat na ko ang square or ang rectangle and then ga uh, make ko circle and then give follow me na ko hmm I insert ka sphere okay good I also like I like that you use the table from our earlier classes <laughs> and then you put it there <laughs> that's very good nice sige um, <laughs> And then, can it be an object sa kwanan ni sir? Follow me. Nag-i-click. Mm-hmm. That'll be nice. a question. So, Sige. ang AutoCAD is this. Also, uh, just like a quick note for everyone who's here. Uh, notice that yung tanong is kanang PNG, like a 2D image. Those oh, are kanang... 2D, sir. Uh, Insert. Those, <laughs> yes. I recommend using those because they don't take up a lot of kanang kanang space because they're very light because they're just images versus ang kuan kanang yung fully modeled na plants tig mulag ug samot inyo mga sketch up ba <laughs> okay so that, that's just like a small note lang okay let's see i kuan da siya kanang print preview kanang padu mo na ni sir print ah, preview na na? Ah, okay sige um let's see so just some small notes ang kanang ang Reference image nimo is the not the model, so change that to the model. Ang unsa sir ang reference? Kanang drawing sa chair bus upper left. Kani? Oh kana. So that's supposed to be your SketchUp model there. Dili ang katong ah. sa website. Ah okay. <laughs> and then sa yung bitaw ka imugi model na wala siya sa page. Ah okay. Then, so kani sir. Oh. And then nakanang viewport ni mo sa orthographic na drawings. Just change it to def points from a ng square niya sa border. Okay, sir. Okay, kana lang. And then also ang uh, title block. I make sure a uniform ang thickness yung lines. Kaya ang outside line na mo ibaga at yung inside lines dili na. Ah, kani. Okay. Oh, kana na lines. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Sige. Uh, so next up, we have uh, Kabatingan, Miguel. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Uh, please share your screen. Um, wait. And start with SketchUp, and then we'll finish with your kanang, uh, PDF of the uh, CAD file. Makita. Ah, this looks very good. Makita, sir. Oh, makita. Yes, this is the Grove chair, sir. So, actually, this would kind of change chair, sir, because it, because it, according to my reference image, there are so many kind of specific uh, curves. Mm, from, from mm, definitely. And even at the backrest, there's like a small kind of portion you can see here, a line, where there, it, where it curves a little from the front. So, I have mm, to get a very little, tricky chair. I had to get, know why you chose that. <laughs> yeah. I had to get a little creative with the kind of smooth tool, specifically along the edges, so that it only lifts the sides, which is what I want. There's, I use this move tool a lot, so I can get these kind of sides lifted to a specific angle mm-hmm. I want them. So it's like that. Oh, wait, oh, what did I do? So what I, so this was kind of six objects, the four legs, the seat, and the backrest. So the first thing I did, I made the backrest. I smoothed it mm-hmm. until like that. Then I made the back, which I smoothed the sides next to the lines so that there would have that small curve that you would see in the image here. Mm. The one thing I couldn't replicate like is that and I'm crossing a border because there was already too much to take into account because this is already into a grid. If I mm. if I can um, turn this into a wireframe naman, then it's already filled with so many grids, so I, I wasn't sure how to proceed with, with that part. So, mm. yeah, that's that's it for my chair. Yes, a very tricky chair. So good job on like getting it as close as you did. So let's take a look at your kanang uh, PDF uh, for preview. Okay, wait. 
Um, yeah. Ah, okay. So, so um, yeah, that the the projection lines are actually broken lines. I just I don't know why they appear as. Uh, yes. So this is one thing I, I mentioned earlier with Jeremy. Na ang scale sa model space that's your like model tab yes. is different from the scale sa layout. So oh. um, you need to edit. So you, do you have the viewport? Where's your viewport? Um, I don't think I have it, sir. Yes, this is just the default. Ah, okay, it's so a default pa. So just like go in there and then select your supposed broken lines. Sir, we'll click in there to select your broken lines. Um, I think you need to double click. What well, kind of sort of viewport? Here, there, and then uh, Control One is the shortcut for properties. Control. And then adjust lang the line type scale. So try one first. Okay. There. So I'll edit this after a lot. <laughs> yeah, just edit that after. Also, ang kaning. Uh, you, you double click outside so you don't mess up your viewport. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a thing. Anyway, you can fix that. Just double click outside the thick line. Thick line. Okay. And then uh, maybe adjust a bit your text so that um, you can have more room for your image. Um, or yes, maybe reduce down your text so that you can have more room for your image. Because I really like the the output there is a chair. Sayang ba? It's so small on the page. <laughs> okay, sir. Yeah, just increase it a bit lang, a bit, just a bit. Okay. All right, thank you for that. Thank you, sir. Miguel, next we have, uh, finally, Emia John. So follow up lang ko ni Fernandez El Niconde. Probably they're going to show up tomorrow, but um, I think Emia will be the last, John. Emia John will be the last for today. Is Emia here? Oh, no, we'll ask Emia. Hey, go, Napos burn out. Oh no, 50% when it's a grade. So please uh, let John Emia know na uh, maybe hopefully tomorrow, but given his like special circumstances, I could probably wait until like Monday for as much as possible. He needs to get this report done because uh, my INC is yeah. so finals. Okay. Seems like wala na. I think we've gone through everyone na. Therese Rudolph, Natasha, yes, so wala si Conde, wala si uh, Lord, Phil, Lord Paul. Okay. So thank you everyone for participating. You can rewatch this video on our Kanang YouTube channel. Let me stop recording. And then let me just congratulate.